well, this is a publicity stunt that the Democrats are trying to pu pull. Um, the bills they're wanting to bring forward, they were defeated in subcommittee in the House. They were defeated uh, on a bipartisan basis with bipartisan support, defeated in the Senate. You had three or four senators that voted against these pieces of legislation. So the, if they really wanted to get something done on this, they would be working with us to fix the underlying problem, the root cause of the problem, which is dealing with the information that goes into the NICS system and onto the terrorist watch list. When John Lewis asked the question, what has this body done to respond to violence? And he says, nothing, we've turned a deaf ear to the blood of innocence. Where is he wrong factually? Uh, where he is wrong when he makes a statement like that is uh, the bills that we have passed and the work that we have done with local law enforcement, the bills that we have passed that deal with information share with the FBI and the CIA, the legislation that we have passed to fund our men and women in the military as they are carrying out this fight. But that's the fight abroad in terms of gun control measures there at home in the US. You've had a hundred bills go to Congress in the last five years. All have failed. Why is it so alien to, to uh, congressmen and women like yourselves that uh, for someone on a terrorist watch list that they be refused to actually be allowed to have a gun? They can't buy a gun. They cannot legally buy a gun at this point. But this man did. He ca they cannot legally buy a gun if they are on a terrorist watch list. And you're talking about the Orlando shooter who was removed from a list. You had someone from his mosque who reported him. You had a gun dealer refuse to sell to him. And then another did. Are there failures in the system? And that's what I'm saying. The issue before us is we need to fix some of the gaps that are in the system in these lists but you cannot conduct a sit-in taking constitutional rights and due process away from people but, but you've it's got to the point of a sit-in because there's so much frustration that every time a bill comes to the floor it's defeated by republicans do you not understand that very simple no, um, level of frustration no what you do not understand is that the bill was defeated with a bipartisan opposition in the Senate. You had Democrat senators join with Republican senators. They're doing a sit-in because what they want was rejected on a bipartisan basis in the House and the Senate. So they're conducting a publicity stunt. There are other things that need to be done. We've been trying to get the Democrats to work with us on a mental health bill. We finally have it out of Energy and Commerce Committee and ready to go to the floor of the House. They should be joining us in saying, let's put that bill on the floor today and let's pass it. They should join us in passing a bill that would require those that are severely mentally ill to be reported into the NICS system, which is an information share system. They should be working with us to make this information transparent from the local, state, sure. and federal level in some manner a to make certain that those who are trying to buy a gun get reported back into that system. Aside from those who are mentally ill, what about all of those people, and there are so many examples of it, who simply bear a grudge but manage to get hold of a gun? Are there no circumstances that you can conceive? Is there no tightening of gun laws as they exist at the moment that can't be done to make it harder for those people I've to get access to, to weapons? I've just, uh, I've just given you a list, and those are things we're saying to the Democrats, work with us on this work with us on this. We're not going to take away someone's due process and take away their constitutional rights. Are there gaps that need to be addressed in the system with the watch list, etc.? And we are saying to them, work with us on these root causes. The Orlando shooter had been radicalized. And we need to be working with law enforcement on how local law enforcement 
addresses these terrorist cells that the FBI now tells us are located in all 50 states. So are there things to do? Absolutely there are things to do. Do we want to make certain that people in this country are safe? Yes, we do. We want to make certain do they, they are safe. Do we want to send a message to ISIS that we're going to hunt them down, destroy them, and destroy their networks? Absolutely. We want sure, to do we're that. We're talking about we gun control the there in the United States rather than ISIS and abroad. And to work with us on this. J just a final point, because you're a big supporter of Donald Trump. I've read you on a list as a possible running mate. Would you like to be there on the ticket? Um, <clears throat> I have no idea who Mr. Trump is going to choose for his running mate. My goal is to make certain that he is elected and that Hillary Clinton is not elected. We have important decisions. Our Supreme Court justices, our federal bench, reducing the overreach of federal agencies. My goal is to make certain we have a president who's going to tackle those tasks. All right. Marsha Blackburn, thanks for joining us here on Thank today's program. Much. Thanks for your time.